Oh, yes. Home sweet home. What is up, you guys? It's, uh, well, believe it or not, it's me. I know I'm in a blonde wig today. Honestly, I was just in a mood, so there we go. That's why. And today we are actually in, in case you didn't notice, different scenery. We're in my beautiful friend Shannon's house, who's not ready yet, <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. Hello, Don't you. kill me. <laughs> And she has so kindly agreed to let me give her kitchen a makeover. You guys know I love a good DIY makeover. So today I'm going to redo her kitchen because as you saw in the intro, it maybe needs a little bit of a, you know, sprucing. I feel like I'm on a home makeover show. <laughs> you are! Yeah. Welcome to Amber Scholl's yeah. DIY home makeover! So me and Shannon, wherever she just went, are going to redo her kitchen and see if we can figure out what we're doing. Do either of us know what we're doing? No. Not at all. I've never given a kitchen a makeover before, but we're going to put on our uh, construction hats, fabulous, and be the men of the house and redo stuff. So that's not to say women can't do stuff. Like women actually can do things better than yeah, men, but you know. Me Without further ado, here we go. A very extra DIY kitchen makeover. Bippity boppity boo. Let's see what we come up with. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how cute we are on her fridge. I love these photos. Um, all right, so anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a full before of the kitchen before we get started. I really don't know what we're gonna do to it, like I said, but we're going to uh, run to Home Depot and see what we can come up with. So, are you ready? The before. Dun, dun, dun! It's a little messy too, but you know, you can see the picture here. We have these brown cabinets which just aren't particularly modern. Um, the stove, this floor, this rug. Um, yeah, this is basically, I don't really know how to give a kitchen tour apparently, but it's actually a good size kitchen, especially for a studio apartment in Los Angeles. So there we go. That is the kitchen before. Hello? Okay, anyways, this is my outfit of the day, by the way. This is hilarious. We are construction people. This is very Bob the Builder, but you know, it's your. So before we get going, here is what we decided to do. We decided we're going to paint the cabinets, add in crystal knobs, redecorate completely, and maybe even add in a marble backsplash. Do we know how to do any of that? No, but we're going to figure it out. So we headed off to good old Home Depot where we looked confused and caused a scene and also were forced to choose between apparently 50,000 different shades of white. Who knew there were that many? But eventually we picked everything and we were good to go. All right, we got the goods, got the paint. Let's do this. It's really sunny. And then it was time to get started. Okay, so first things first we got to do is unscrew all the knobs. Oh, look at that. So easy. Perfect. Bum, ba -da -bum. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so obviously step one was cleaning it out. Voila, it is now clean and ready to go. And all of the cabinets <gasps> have no more knobs. So, boom. Also, I got hot, so that's why I kind of took off my jacket. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna paint now. So this was the paint we got, some white paint. We got our painting sets. So, well, I guess I'll just open that with my nail <laughs> and we can get started. Alrighty, here we go. By the way, pro tip, if you have real wood, you're going to need to sand it. Did we have real wood? No. So we had to do literally no prep, but just so you know, if you have real wood, it's gonna take you a little longer. So we just went ahead and got right into it with our paintbrush and started literally painting. We went ahead and just painted right onto the cabinets. We did about three or four layers, literally. We just kept painting it over and over and over. Feel free to climb on the cabinets, no sweat. It's fine, we got this. For the inside of the cabinets, we just went ahead and opened them up and used little paint rollers to go ahead and roll the paint on like this. For the drawers, we went ahead and fully removed the drawers so we could paint the back part of it. And then we just painted the drawer part like this. Yeah, I know, we're not the most professional people in the world, but it worked. <laughs> oh we yeah. We just took our clothes off. We're a mess, <laughs> we're a mess. <laughs> My wig's falling off. By the way, when I say one eternity later, I am not even kidding, it was like seven eternities later. This took us maybe eight hours. So you can see here they are mostly all painted. You can see they are mostly all painted white. Um, We're not fully done, but it looks pretty good. Obviously, we made a mess of the floor and of ourselves. <laughs> so it is now nighttime. 
We've been doing this forever. Okay, so now we're going to do this backsplash area. We've got these super cool little peel and stick marble things from Amazon, so we're gonna see if we can figure out how to do that. So you can see this just peels off like a sticker, like that, sticky back, and then just press it down. So easy! It says overlap here. Overlap it. And then you can just press it into place. Oh my god, this is so cool! So easy. <gasps> wow! wow. <laughs> I love it! You can go ahead and trim off the extra to make it fit whatever space you're doing personally and and eventually it'll look like this. Oh my god, this looks unbelievable! <gasps> look at that! Amazing! Just like real marble. We put it above the fridge too. You know, for added aesthetics. Now, we just gotta put the door handles on. So I got some crystally door handles. I got these on Amazon, so fun. And literally all you have to do is screw them in. Oh my goodness, they look so cute. Look at that. Fabulous. Oh, this is coming together so good. By the way, on the wall here, there was this really ugly little electricity box. So we decided to buy a mirror from Ross and we're just gonna hang that right over it. Um, we're also gonna do a weird, disgusting foot dance before we hang it for no reason. But uh, anyways, but you can see it looks great. I, on the other hand, don't look great because I ripped off my wig, but you know. My wig cap is literally gone, but whatever. <laughs> actually like Shannon's cabinet, so we opted not to do this. However, if you want to do this, you can check out my marble countertop DIY video. You can watch the full marble countertop DIY video on my channel if you want, but literally it's super easy. Basically all you do is buy marble contact paper, which you can see is sticky, kind of like a sticker. So you can just go ahead and trim that around and push it onto the countertop so it sticks on. And when you're done, it basically will look like this, which isn't perfect, but it's still pretty cool. All right, guys, are you ready to see the finished kitchen? We've literally been here for like maybe 500 hours. I look crazy. I have paint on my face. It is like, I don't even know. I think it's some horrible AM hour, but here we go. Here's the before again, really quick for you guys to see. And drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. There's a water bottle. <laughs> this is literally not the same kitchen that it was literally like where are 10 we? hours ago where are we this is, kitchen. Kitchen. this is not my kitchen not my kitchen i mean literally it's not my it's kitchen so it's your kitchen but. all right so here's the grand kitchen tour you can see the cabinets came out absolutely amazing let me just tell you this was a horrible heartache it took a hundred years literally but it came out so good again the cabinet knobs are fabulous so cute this backsplash is literally the highlight oh my god you can see we went ahead and rehung her spice racks right above there looks so stinking good we got some flowers from ross we put out her balsamic vinegars and other cooking things i'm not really much for cooking but i think those are for cooking <laughs> to cover the thing again of course we hung the mirror and then we weren't 100 percent sure what to do over here but you can see these cabinets came out so good too we went ahead and put the blender back backsplashed this as well the marble backsplash came out absolutely incredible it looks so 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 good as does of course well literally the whole thing the crystal knobs the crystal everything i love it you I'm love sad. it says thank you so much oh! i could never even think about doing this this is really amazing so thank you stop i cry <laughs> whose kitchen is this it is a freaking masterpiece I'd say we freaking nailed it. I'm so tired though, my god. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired. It's gonna fall over. Ugh. But I love it. I love it I love too. It so much. Looks good. It's so good. Cook me something. Make me a sandwich. What do you want? Hey, that's oh, pretty good. Wow, wow. Chef Nation over here. <laughs> for watching i'm sorry we look so haggard i am so stinking tired like i said but this was exhausting but so fun and i think our project cost maybe 200 bucks so definitely broke bitch tip love you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel for a lot more fabulous diy fun fun content and i will see you guys next time all the love in the world and then some i am going to bed and maybe to wash this paint off my hands <laughs>
Is this works. such a look, you guys? Do I look so beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mess. Yeah, yeah.